myself Timir Choksi. I am assistant professor in LGID. Student, welcome to session of COWS. This is the chapter number four in a serving subject. So, in this video, means video number one, I have covered a few topics of this chapter: introduction, classification of COW. So, this chapter is based on the application of serving. Student, you know that you have you have already studied a different type of instrument like plane table, theodolite, tachometer, and total station. So, uh, understanding the all the, all all of the instrument. So now this chapter is based on the application of the serving. Means this chapter name is curve. So these are used for alignment. Change the alignment of the road, railways, and uh, and different mode of the transportation. So, in this video, I have explained about the introduction part and classification of cow. So, student, first I have explained what is a cow, means definition of cows. So, cows are regular band providing the lines of communication like road, railway, etc., and also in canal to bring about the gradual change of direction. So when you have changed the direction, uh, gradual change of the direction, like communication like road, railway, so cows are provided. So cows are regular band provide in the line of communication like uh, uh, road, railway, and uh, in a canal. So bring the about the gradual change of the direction. So whenever the direction of road and railway line need to be changed. Cows are provided between the intersecting the straight. So this is the most important use of the cow. When whenever the direction of road and railway line to be changed, so cow is is provided. Now next, this is the necessary for smooth and safe movement of the vehicle and for the comfort of passenger. So when you give the uh, safe movement and give the comfort of the passenger, so cow is provided. So this is the main use of the cow. So and last, the cows required may be in a horizontal plane or in the vertical plane. According to the cows, are classified the horizontal cows and the vertical cows. So depending upon the horizontal plane and vertical plane, student, cows are classified in the two two uh, two major types. One is a horizontal cow as well as the vertical cows. So now I have explained classification of cow based on horizontal plane as well as the vertical plane. Now. Cows are classified into two types. One is a horizontal cow, and next is a vertical cow. So, student, in a horizontal cow, there are different type of cow. One is a simple circular cow, reverse cow, compound cow, transition cow, and combined cow. And in a vertical cow, student, there are two types: summit cow and sag cow or valley cow. So, this is the basic classification of cows. And these cows are used for alignment, change the alignment of the road or railways, and for the canal. So now I have explained detail in a one by one. So first you know that this is a simple circular cow. So simple circular cow is consist of the single single arc of a circle connected in two straight. So in a simple circular cow consists in a single arc. It is the radius of the same magnitude. Here the radius is same magnitude throughout. So in this figure, T1 and T2 is the simple circular cow, and T1O and uh, it is the radius. So T1O and T2O it is the same magnitude radius. So this is called as a simple circular cow. When the single arc consists and same magnitude radius are there, so is called as a simple circular cow. Now second cow is a compound cow. Here. A compound cow consists of two or more simple cow. Here, the compound cow consists of two or more simple cow having different radius. Here, radius is same, magnitude is same. But here, in a compound cow, the uh, compound cow consists of the two or more simple cow, but having the different radius. Here, clearly, this uh, uh, so the seen in this figure, T1 O1 and T2 O2 is a different radius, magnitude. So. Having the different radius bending in the same direction and laying on the same side of the common tension. Here, tension is common, but the direct uh, the value or magnitude of the radius is a different. So their centers line on the same side of the curve. In the figure T1P, 
NT2 is the compound curve with the T1O and PO2 it is, uh, is radius. So P1O1 and P2, P, uh, sorry T1O1 and PO2 it is the different uh, radius magnitude. So this called, uh, this is curve is called as a compound curve having a different radius. So this is uh, about the compound curve. Now third is a reverse curve. So student here clearly seen I have given a, one example for a constructing the railway track. So reverse curve are most important use in the railway construction. So a reverse curve is made of two, uh, two arcs having the equal or different radius or uh, equal or different radius bending in opposite direction. So here this is a opposite direction curve with a common tension. Tension is common but uh, direction is opposite. Their center lie of the opposite side of the curve in figure T1, P and T2 it is the reverse curve T1, P, T2 it is the reverse curve and with radius is T1, O, O1 and P, O2, P, O2 and T1, O1. So this is the about the reverse curve. Reverse curve are used in mostly in a railway construction. So arc having equal or different radius and it's in opposite direction but tension is common so this type of curve is called as a reverse curve. Now transition. This is a most important use in a highway construction. So a transition curve is a horizontal curve of varying radius. Varying radius. The transition curve provides a gradual change from the straight line to the circular curve and again from the circular to the straight line. Here clear is seen. Here this is a straight line and then transferred in a circular curve. So this type of curve is called as a transition curve. Here clearly seen this is a simple circular curve and then transfer in a straight line. So this type of curve is called as a transition. So where provide a gradual change from straight to the circular and circular to the chain uh, straight. Here this is a straight line then transfer in a circular. Then after the cir uh, uh, circular then transfer in a straight. Line. So this type of curve is called as a transition curve. And last is a combined curve. Student so combined curve are combination of simple circular curve and transition curve. Here the combination of the sim simple circular and transition curve is called as the combined curve. Here you have assumed that the different type of curve are used in a transition. But where you have particular assumed the simple circular curve. So this type of curve is, uh, is called as a combined curve. So here clearly seen here this is a straight line with transition curve and then use the simple circular curve. So, so this type of road is based on a combined curve. So is prefer in a railway and highway construction. So student this is all the about the horizontal curve. I have repeat the terms uh, all the curves. First is a simple circular, reverse curve, compound, compound curve, transition curve and combined curve. Now student I have explained about the vertical. So there are two types of vertical curve, you know that one is a summit curve and one is a valley curve or set. So vertical summit curve is provided when the rising grade, rising grade is joined on the falling grade. So it's called a summit curve and vertical set curve is provided when the falling grade is intersects with the rising grade. So this type of curve is a set curve. So this is a summit curve and this is a set. So there are two types of vertical curve, one is a summit and one is a sag curve. This is a, uh, used in a, a bridge construction, you know that you, you have seen the different type of bridge. So first uh, the uh, uh, bridge are falling to rising or rising to falling. So this type of curve are provided in this type of construction. Now next is a classification of curve. Here student. In this particular chapter, only I have focused on the simple circular curve because this is the most important question in a GTU and uh, more times question asked in a GTU about the simple circular curve. So I have only focused in the simple circular curve of the horizontal curve. So this is the basic question, uh, most important question for a GTU exam, simple circular curve and it, it is used in a uh, practically in a highway construction when you have going in a job so only focus on a elements of simple circular curve so i have explained in a details 
classification of cow do you, you know that different type of classification of horizontal cow so i have explained about the simple circular cow and i have explained in this theory particularly elements of simple circular cow so there are a figure of the simple circular cow geometry and these are a different type of uh, elements i have explained one by one but i have first i have uh, explained uh, in a short short first is a bank tension second is a forward tension beginning of cow means point of curvature end of cow means point of tangency point of intersection deflection angle subtangent mid ordinate length of cow subtangent external external distance long chord short chord normal chord radius deflection angle so these are a different type of or uh, more the elements of the simple circular cow so you have remembered the first you have list down the all the uh, simple circular cow and then you have explained the one by one here question as asked in a gtu you have asked about the only figure draw the figure so so you have you, you uh, draw only draw the figure four to three marks three or four marks but you have uh, asked a question in a seven marks so you have first the draw the figure uh, keep the all the element in the figure and then explain any seven of them in a exam so i have explained one by one first element of simple circular curve back tangent so the tangent line before the beginning of the curve is called the back tangent or the rear tangent here back tangent before the beginning of the curve here curve is this you uh, are starting the curve and ending the curve here so beginning of the curve is called as the back tangent and when tangent line after the end of the curve is called as a forward tangent so this is about the forward tangent now next point of intersection so the point i where the back tangent when produce the forward and forward tangent when produce the backward here backward tangent is produce the forward tangent and forward tangent is produce the backward tangent so is called as the point of intersection so these are a point of intersection now intersection angle similar that the angle between the back tangent and forward tangent is called as the intersection angle easily you have understand this is the intersection so in this particular slide i have covered the four definition back tangent forward tangent point of intersection and intersection angle now student next elements of simple circular curve the fifth number angle of deflection so the angle of deflection here clearly seen the angle by which the forward tangent deflect from the rear tangent so is called as the deflection angle so not a confusion in the intersection angle and the deflection angle so the forward tangent deflects from the this is a forward tangent and this is the backward tangent so there are uh, deflex from the rear ta uh, rear tangent is called as the deflection delta now point of curvature it is the point on the back tangent here clearly seen this is a beginning of curve is called as a, this point bc is called as a point of curvature here this point so it is the point on the back tangent at the beginning of the curve where the alignment change from tangent to the curve here this is a tangent line with straight line and then after here this point will start the change in alignment so here bc means this is a point to have changed the alignment and transferred to the inner curve so this is called as the point of curvature and point of tangency means where it is the point on forward tangent at the end of the curve where the alignment changes from curve to the tangent here clearly seen here ec means the uh, point of tangency here start the uh, tangent tangent is start and go, uh, transfer to in a straight line so when the causing end and then start the uh, in a straight line means alignment is change so this type of point is called as the means this point is called as the point of tangency i have repeat this two definition where the back tangent at the beginning of the curve and where the alignment change to the curve means transition curve to the simple circular curve alignment is change so this point is called as the point of curvature and when uh, ending of curve and start the straight line means start the tangent so is called as the point of tangency so this is about the point of curvature and point of tangency now 
next tangent distance so the distance between the point of curvature to the point of uh, distance between the point of curvature and uh, end of the tangent means point of tangency this distance is called as the tangent distance so this is a tangent distance this the distance between the uh, point of curvature to the point of tangency now length of the curve so the total length of the curve from point of curvature of the point of tangency is called as the length of the curve so see this is a length of the curve the total length of the curve simple it is called as the length of the curve and long chord the chord joining between the point of curvature to the point of tangency means here long chord so this is a point of tangency uh, sorry point of curvature and this is a point of tangency so the distance straight distance this is the uh, circular distance but this is a straight distance so the chord joining between the not a you have used the straight distance you have used the chord distance so the chord joining the point of the curvature and the point of tangency is called as the long chord now mid ordinate so this is the mid ordinate here clearly seen mid ordinate it is the distance between the mid of the long chord here clearly seen mid of the long chord and the mid point of the curve here this is a mid point of the curve and this is a mid mid point of the chord so the distance between of this is called as the mid ordinate now external distance so it is the distance between the middle of the curve and vertex so this is the external distance here clearly seen this is a vertex point in a triangle and this is the mid, uh, middle of the curve distance so this distance is called as the external distance normal chord a normal chord between the two successive regular back on the curve is called as the normal chord so a chord between two successive regular back when you have decide the point so the distance between the two points is called as the normal chord and sub chord is the chord is shorter than the normal chord is called as the sub chord so student this is the basic important most 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 important question for gq uh, elements of the simple circular curve so first you have uh student first you have draw the figure and then you have uh, and list the all the uh, elements and then you have described the one by one of the uh, all the elements of the simple circular curve so student this is uh, about the uh, first session i have explained in a first session introduction about the curves and uh, i have explained about the elements of uh, all the classification of the curves horizontal curves and vertical curves and i have explained in a detail elements of the simple circular curve so thank you so much for watching this video